Good day. Welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. Today we're going to take a look at the Tinker OS 2.0.4. Uh, this came out in November, and a couple of the new features are uh, supports W1 GPIO implement dev GPIO mem for Debian, disable screen timeout, sec MMS 2, XMMS 2, and fix Chromium 6.1 version. And there's initial support for Tinker Board S. I wonder what that is. That sounds cool. And there's a Tinker CLI in GUI configuration tool, which I think is the kind of the thing most people are going to be interested in. Uh, fix VNC, GUI, and SSH. So there are a couple of neat little features that they've updated. But if you go to SourceForge in SourceForge.net, look for Tinkerboard, you can see that somebody took 2.04, and they made a little bit better image of it. They added some uh, the things you're probably going to install anyway. Uh, we kind of look down, you can kind of see they added Kodi, uh, LibreOffice, which is already on there, uh, Pinta, which is some um, paint program, uh, VLC, VNC server, Sonic Pi, which is uh, some music programming language, uh, a couple of little different uh, features. So that's kind of cool that they added that in, so it saves you some trouble. So if you download their image, and uh, just be forewarned, it's, uh, I think it's like 3 gig compressed, 8 gig uncompressed. So you're going to need a fairly decent size SD card, but definitely worth it because it's going to save you a lot of effort and installing things, especially if you're going to use Kodi and those kind of things. It's it's all there. So let's take a look at it, and you can see you got the normal uh, Tinker OS uh, background, and some of the screens will go through it. You accessories, the normal stuff, uh, games. Oh, mine, um, some version of Minecraft they put on there. And there's the Chromium, Firefox. So they put that on there for you, so that's going to save you a little trouble installing crap. But it works really well. Thank you very much. And uh, Office, the normal LibreOffice stuff. You can see I launched Firefox. Took a little while for launch, but that's okay. But once it launches, it works really well. Let's close that. And let's see, there's Office. See the office stuff. We looked at that. It launches fairly decently, so that's nice. And let's see what version. You can see the version. So it's fairly update. Actually, it's updated as, as of December. And other new things. Uh, preferences. You see the normal pref preferences are in there. But if you look down here, you can see the Tinkerboard configuration. I think that's probably the thing most people are going to be interested in. Uh, makes it kind of easy to set up a few things. You can see the system. I can change your password really easy. Uh, and here's the best part. You can turn on and off SSH. You can change your VNC password. Simple. Um, you can turn on the I2C. Made everything really nice, advanced uh, resolution. And you can do the over overclocking just by clicking on a little pull down. Kind of cool. And your time zone. So they kind of put it all in a nice one, one little spot. So it's kind of nice that they added that little tool. And I think it's a beta tool, but it works really well. And there's the normal system stuff, the uh, the terminals and that kind of thing. But it uh, looks like they uh, the things that they added there, they added the things that most people are going to want to use, and nothing more. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll take a look at the paint program. Did I click on it? Let's see. Graphics. Pinta. Pinta. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Took a little while to load, but little nice little paint program. And we'll close that. But, you know, they keep uh, slowly updating uh, the Tinker OS, and uh, 2.03 worked really well, 2.04. They uh, fixed a few things, so that's kind of nice. They added the, the GUI, the little configuration GUI. Uh, that's nice. And uh, that makes a really nice desktop. Uh, I've been using this one for quite a while. I put actually a, a, a VNC on myself. And um, Webmin, I definitely highly, highly recommend putting Webmin on there because it lets you administrate, administrate it remotely and do patching, all that kind of stuff uh, through Web GUI. And it makes it so much simpler. But basically, that's 2.04, same as the old one, just uh, this version that this guy created. If you go search for it, you can see there, there's some more features in it. Save you a little trouble. But uh, that's basically Tinker OS 2.04 plus. I like to call it plus because there's some more things into it. But anyway, they did a really nice job. Uh, I really like the Tinker Tinkerboard. Uh, more people should be buying it. Uh, definitely, it's it's becoming more and more mature every day. And desktop wise, you know, you can't really go wrong. I like it a lot. Get yourself one. 
Have a great day.